everybody. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a CNAME or a subdomain name in your HostGator control panel for your IDX broker account. There are a couple of different benefits for using a CNAME and the main one is so that when somebody comes to your site and hits search now, the URL they get going to go to isn't going to be on idxbroker.com, it's going to be on your domain name. And while IDX Broker is amazing and the best IDX out there, the one that I recommend the most, you still want people when they click on your link to go to your domain name and not idxbrokers.com. So that's for your, your brand and so people can recognize your domain. We want it to be on your domain. And IDX Broker gives you the option to do this. They're so awesome. They have a lot of cool things that they offer and this is one of the awesome uh, tools that I love about IDX Broker. So how do we do this? Um, the other benefit before I go on actually is SEO value. When Google, when somebody Googles you or Googles a keyword and they come to your website, one of the main things that you don't want to happen is for somebody to click and leave your site. And in this case, they're going to IDX Broker's site. They're not going to your website. So this is IDX Broker's domain. Anything that comes uh, right before the dot com shows you that it's not your domain name and you want it to go to your domain name so the IDX broker doesn't penalize you for that for that keyword. So you want to continue to rise up in the search engines and to do so you want people to stay on your site not leave your site. So here's how we're going to do this. You're going to log into your HostGator control panel and then over here you have this quick and cool little find tool and you can just type in DNS and then right here you have your option for domains. So you have subdomains, you have simple DNS uh, zone editor, you have advanced DNS zone editor. So let's look at what some of these do. Okay, while this loads, your subdomain name, this is a way to give you an easy subdomain name uh, in HostGator. If you want to create a new directory and you want to have a subdomain, this is how I would do that. And it's really just pointing a new domain name, a subdomain name to uh, a directory on in your control panel. So if you want to create a new directory and you want to give people an easy way to get there, you can say, you know, um, myfiles.batten dot dot in this case Liz Sherman dash realtor dot com and give it a directory and it'll point directly to that directory maybe it's videos you've uploaded or something like that in this case you're gonna come the simple DNS zone editor and you can add an A record a C record and you can see which ones have already been set this is going to be the one that we are going to use then you have your advanced DNS zone editor and you have a little bit more tools here. This is more for the advanced user and really only includes one extra field um, depending on which type of record you're adding. So I'm going to use the simple DNS zone editor. The first thing I'm going to do is select a domain. Then I'm going to give it a name. This is my subdomain name. It's what's going to come before the dot Liz Sherman dash realtor.com. So I want it to be something that um, and actually, I'm in the wrong one. I'm an A record. We're going to use C name because that's what we want is a C name. So this is what's going to come before the dot Liz Sherman dash realtor. In my case, I use homes for sale pretty regularly. If you are in a condo market or a different type of market, you may want to use something like condos for sale or real estate or something like that. I like homes for sale. It's also one of the higher keywords that are searched, so it adds a little bit of SEO to your domain name. And then the C name is going to be subdomains.idxbroker.com. You should have two green check marks here, and you're simply going to add C name record. Now, if you did it correctly, down here you should see it homesforsale.lizsherman-realtor.com. C name under type, and the record should say subdomains.idxbroker.com. Now, your next step is to log into your IDX Broker account. And now you're going to go to account, account info, and right here you're going to say use a custom domain. Yes, homes-for-sale. 
Now, if you did this correctly, as soon as I tab out of here, this is going to go green. So watch, there it goes green. That's what we want. So that's green, and we're simply going to hit Save Changes. The next step for you is to log into your website, go to your IDX Broker plugin options, and refresh your API key. And that should change your domain name all over to the proper URL. So we're going to do that next. And we're going to go to Initial Settings. And we're going to refresh. Now we're going to go back to our site. And right here we're going to click on Search Now. And there you go. Homesforsale.lizsherman-realtor.com I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If you want to see more tutorials, check out my YouTube channel. We have a ton and we love making tutorials for our realtors and we love to help you out. If you need help with customization for your website, give us a call at 517-917-0582 or drop us an email at support at yoursiteneedsme.com. You can also check out our website, yoursiteneedsme.com, under the services tab. There's lots of cool things that we offer all our realtors when you need help and don't want to do it yourself. Have a great day and thanks for watching. Yeah, 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 yeah